Now, I must warn you, I work very hard. I study an hour every day, sometimes two. After all these years, there are still people asking about Florence Foster Jenkins. She was a great patron of the arts in New York City. Music is my life. She was a child prodigy pianist in her youth. Little Miss Foster, they called me. But then when the nerves were damaged in my left hand, that was not to be. Her piano career had to stop, so she took up singing. <laughs> this isn't someone who's afraid of much. We're going to make a recording. In the late 1930s, one could go to a recording studio and make a record. She went in, and the first thing she recorded... <laughs> She listened to one playback of it. Do you want to try another take? That seemed perfect to me. And she was totally satisfied. And that is the record that was released. How did she get on the radio? That game's got me feeling happy to be alive. And please tell us where we can find her record. After David Bowie died, Vanity Fair republished an article about his 25 favorite vinyl recordings ever. And one of them is Florence Foster Jack. A lot of singers my age are on the decline. But I seem to just get better and better. By 1944, her name was well known as this musical supporter, slightly eccentric, and she wants to give a concert at Carnegie Hall. I'm going to sing here. She sells out faster than Frank Sinatra. What have I done? Are they going to know? I'm afraid. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. That's what's so great. She believed that she could be one of the world's greatest singers. She wasn't, but she achieved a lot. Now then, little Miss Foster, let's get proud. This is what we live for, isn't it? 